We're here at the 20th anniversary of the Festival of the Philippine Arts and Culture, and now I have the beautiful Leslie Ann Hoff. Is this your first time here at FPAC? Actually, no, I've been coming for years. Um, I used to be the director of Kamaya Puso, which is a local organization, so we've had booths here for years. But it is my first year hosting, and it was so much fun. It was an honor. I hosted the Binnacling Battle, which was amazing. Apparently, it is a it is a festival favorite, so I got to participate. That was so much fun. Yes, you look great up there. You look like a natural. <laughs> Thank you. Will you be hosting more FPACs? I definitely hope so. If I get invited, I will say a resounding yes. <laughs> awesome. Um, and do you have any new projects coming up, future? What are you doing after today? Well, um, I just wrapped a movie called Cowgirls and Angels this summer, and we're in post-production for that, and it will be premiering sometime next year, so definitely hope that all of my Filipino brethren can support it. Um, I am co-starring with James, uh, James Cromwell. Bailey Madison and Jackson Rathbone, an amazing story about a young girl who rides horses in, and it took place in Oklahoma and it's just a great family story so hopefully people can support it. Awesome. Was that your first time riding a horse? <laughs> yes. It was my first time riding a horse and I thought I was, at first I thought I was going to faint but very quickly it just became natural for me. It was so much fun. The horses are beautiful, beautiful creatures and it's a very interesting and like intimate relationship that you build with a horse and get them to, you know, fall, go where you want to go and it was such a fantastic experience and now that I'm back in LA I'm trying to do some more horseback riding because I've just fell in love with it. That's amazing. Now, since you've been here for years, I heard that FPAC was a lot bigger. A lot, lot bigger. Is there any words you can tell other people to come here and support and be here next year and the years to follow? Yes, definitely. I, I think FPAC is such an important experience for Filipinos in the area to come and support. I mean, we, like, you know, uh, the Japanese American folks have Nisi Week and, and all of the other cultures have their thing. And this is our thing to support and continue our traditions. There's a youth pavilion here this year where you can learn to speak the Galog and you can learn old uh, Filipino games and stuff. That I know my parents taught me, but some people, you know, don't remember them or have never even been exposed to them. And I think the most important thing is for us to continue these traditions with generations to come and our children, you know. And I know when I have kids, I want them to learn to speak Tagalog and call each other kuya and ate so that we can continue these traditions here in America. Okay, last question of the day. Yeah. Last 10 years, 10 years ago was 9-11. What were you doing and, and how are you commemorating that event today? That's a great question. I've been thinking about that all morning. Um, I was actually at UC Berkeley um, where I was getting my undergraduate degree and I remember that my roommate woke me up to tell me what was going on and then all of us in the dorm got together and just watched the horrible events take place. Um, I'm commemorating this day by just continuing to hope, have faith in God and have faith in humanity that we can recover from this, we can be closer and stronger from this and that we we are a community, you know, it was an awful tragedy but so many good things have come about from it, you know, people coming closer together, communities helping each other, you know, people with lost loved ones, their communities coming together and helping them out and I think that's the most important important thing is just to be there for people to help them heal from that situation. Everyone has lost someone, know someone who has lost somebody and I think it's just so important to come together as a community and remember to keep the faith and, and keep the hope up, you know? Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you again. Thank you. Make sure you are here at FPAC next year and the years to come to support years Leslie and Hoff. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you so much. We will be much seeing you on stage. I appreciate it. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thanks, everybody. Support FPAC and Philam Arts.